The Transformer trailers are crazy. The movie franchise has made over $4 billion at the box office, originating from this. Eat my dust, bird brain! And most of the movies suck. Bumblebee, stop lubricating the man. I mean, not enjoyable at all, yet the trailers are crazy, epic, and even for me, emotional. Imagine December of 2006. You're one of seven people in the theaters to see Aragon. When the Varden learn that the legend is real, they will be encouraged to challenge me. When the first trailer starts. Seven, seven, six, six, five, four. We've gone for main engine start. We have... Ah, uh, you see, back in 2006 and 2007, when this trailer was being shown in theaters, people were legit surprised when the Transformers showed up. Back then, we didn't have world premiere trailer drops on social media. Mysterious, with a lot of style points on that one. What kind of elegant trailer are they going to follow this one up? We're under attack! We're facing war against the technological civilization far superior to our own. It's a robot. You know, like a super advanced robot. It's probably Japanese. I have a soft spot for this movie. It's one of the three Michael Bay movies I actually enjoy. The sequel will surely be awesome. I am directly below. Enemy scrotum. It wasn't, but the trailer was pretty cool. And it went on to make $836 million. <laughs> Watch what's in my mind. I'm not gonna go without you. Jesus Christ, that's a good trailer. That trailer is so good, it almost makes me want to watch the movie again. Did I daydream that robot ball scene? Is my mind that fucking perverted? Nope, that was a real robot testicle scene. Oh, but I didn't daydream Steven Spielberg's name in the trailer. In fact, his name's in all the trailers. I mean, what, is, what does that mean, executive producer? Steven Spielberg showed up for five minutes, took a shit in the break room, and left. Boom, executive producer. talking about when you talking about megan fox she called michael bay hitler she's not in the movie anymore i don't i don't know but that was a cool trailer that was really awesome who sent you here we need a new army i gotta say age of extinction is probably my least favorite transformers trailer and it still freaking ends with optimus prime riding a t-rex it has been said through the ages my god is that anthony hopkins you know i'm not gonna get pulled into this movie again there is nothing you can show me in this trailer that will reel me in are there nazis in medieval knights in this movie <laughs> every trailer should end with a choke slam I mean, come on, the new Mario trailer ended with a wahoo! You could have saved DK for the end of the trailer and had him choke slam Mario. 
Let me tell you something. My driver don't pick the car. Car pick the driver. This Bumblebee trailer is one of my all-time favorite trailers. Hearing Bernie Mac's voice again years after his passing, it made me tear up a little bit the first time watching it. And it's just such a heartwarming trailer, and surprise surprise, the movie wasn't terrible. Maybe expectations were at an all-time low for Transformers. Oh no no, never mind, it wasn't directed by Michael Bay. That probably helped a lot. And that leads us into the recently released trailer for Age of the Beast. R Rise of the Beast. And I'll be damned if it wasn't a really good trailer. And if you don't know, it's not your own. I'm blowing up like you thought I would. Call the prince, say number, say good. It's all good. So why are these trailers so awesome? Well, as much as Michael Bay hurt the first five movies, he always makes up with beautiful looking shots which is a reoccurring theme in his movies, and they all look wonderful, and that's why it plays very well with trailers. And whoever is editing these trailers for Paramount should have the big office with a golden chair and stacks of- Just a bit outside, he tried the corner and missed. Hey, mammy! Oh, don't be like that. If I had a rock, I'd bust your head, bitch. Tell me, she deaf, you know? 